I think it's time we blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. On today's episode of Women in Action, Director of Food War, Shukageki no Sama, episode 67, A Single Blade. I absolutely love today's episode. We finally get a culmination in everything that Yukihira has learned since his time at Totsuki. Now, last we left off, although Megami lost to Momo Senpai, it seems she's garnered a little bit of respect. And Aizen is absolutely fuming after his loss to Takumi Aldini. And today we pick up right afterwards. Yes, the final battle of this round, Soma versus Somei. In a battle of butter. So we know that Somei is a master when it comes to seafood, sushi in general, and with this episode we get a little bit more of his backstory, yes, after giving us a crash course that it's not only the fish or seafood that actually makes the dish, it's the accoutrements, the rice, the noodles, it's basically knowing your base ingredients, the fundamentals, truly allows you know your seafood to take center stage. So with this we get a little bit of a flashback, and in this flashback I get kind of confused, uh, maybe you guys can let me in. So somewhat like Yukihira, he has a family restaurant. This one is a sushi bar and it is owned and operated by his mother. So eventually Somei gets into Totsuki and he comes home one day he goes, the mother's like, oh, by the way, I got into this 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 famous, this well-respected sushi place. I'm going to go train. I'm going to go learn. When I come back, uh, I'll be able to make super good sushi. So you know what? We'll have to shut down for a little bit, but in the end, it's worth it. So she goes there, right? Presumably to train. Well, they kind of trick her. It's this very traditionalist, very old school way of thinking. Women are not allowed in the kitchen, blah, blah, blah. So it seems she spent most of her time, it looks like cleaning or doing, you know, basically being a gopher to the point where she's literally hospitalized with exhaustion or at least down for the count. And of course, this fuels Somei's, you know, determination. It's, it's, he wants to perfect his sushi to the utmost level to where, you know, no one can compete with it. No one will ever break, it, break his blade. Well, my thing is if she went there to train and they're not training her, why the fuck doesn't she just quit? I mean, she already owns a restaurant. She was already actually working at the restaurant doing, you know, we saw customers. Presumably she was doing okay and making okay food. I know she wanted to garner, you know, extra skills and, you know, knowledge and shit. But at the same time, they had her scrubbing fucking floors. Why didn't you just quit? Why didn't you quit? I, 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 maybe it's a Japanese custom not to fucking quit. I, I, I don't know. In my mind, bitch should have said bye Felicia and go back and, you know, work at your own restaurant or find another place. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me why why she didn't just didn't quit. I, I I don't know. But yeah, basically that makes his 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 origin story kind of like weird. Like I I know you want to be you know take the place of your mother and like you know run the family business and you know do your best, but you're using that fuel. But sh why didn't she quit? Anyways, getting back to the dish at hand, Somei makes basically a seafood rice bowl where he was utilizing. I mean their key ingredient has to be butter, so. Utilizing that and the seafood as well as, you know, adding oranges and lemons to the rice to, you know, cut down the greasiness factor of the seafood and the butter. Like, it just makes this awesome seafood rice bowl and it just looks fucking delicious. Like, just ridiculously good. And of course, it knocks the socks off the judges. Everything just works. Everything's balanced. It literally hits you in just one giant blow. But of course, Yuki here prepared for this. They had a secret weapon. It was Mimasaki. He said he can do a perfect trace of, you know the top 10. So when it was Megami, Takumi, and Soma's turn to do their shukugeki, Mimasaki helped them train. So during this little training, it seems that Soma couldn't get past, you know, the level of cooking that, you know, Mimasaki was able to trace from Soma. And in this instance, we see what he did in, you know, in that typical anime fighting trope after the years upon years of battling, or in this case, you know, ever since his enrollment at Totsuki, as well as probably, you know, going against nonstop battle against his father, he's able to combine basically everyone he's run into, you know, everyone at the Polar Star Dormitory. We see him using the cheese from the, uh, the Takumi Aldini's dish. We see him utilize the apple butter from Megami's. Just, he's calm. It's this culmination of everything he's learned put into his dish, and it creates this awesome, I believe it was called a butter pilaf inara zushi, which is basically a rice and like seafood hot pocket, and it just looked fucking delicious. The way they described it was Somei's dish was 
one blow, one giant devastating blow. This one was miniature blows that, you know, stacked upon each other, creating this overwhelming sensation where each blow was just like enhancing the next and the next and the next, and they all just created this amazing dish. And there we go. The round is over. The battle is done. And Soma is the winner. Yes, a unanimous decision from the judges. And the Rebels pull out a victory two to one in this round. Like I said, the best part about this episode was the fact that we got to see Yukihira basically take everything he's learned, everything he's encountered on his, his journey here at Totsuki and put it all in one dish. I mean, he's ever, every battle, he, I mean, he's even admitted to all the losses he's taken from his father. He's evolving. Every time he wins or loses, he's taking that knowledge and he's adding it to his repertoire, basically creating the chef who he is today. And we see that it, literally it, all in one dish. Besides my confusion over the origin stories of Some, um, I absolutely love today's episodes. The dishes were amazing. And we finally, finally got some hardcore victories for the Rebels. But this is not over. No, 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 not even close to being done. We still have Ishii and Rindo, you know, the number one and two seats. So to me, this is still an uphill battle in anyone's game. But you know what? I don't see our pro tag losing anytime soon. But anything can happen in a Shokogeki. So with that being said, I cannot wait for future episodes.